So I ran into an interesting article the other day called Ditching Diffuse Maps. It sort of talked about the uh, limitations of today's texturing methods and proposed a new way of texturing using procedural based um, shaders. So I tried this method out in Blender and this is what I have. So it's a uh, basic piece of geometry, it's rather large and as you can see the detail is quite good for a relatively small texture that I'm using. So how I came up, how this works is um, the object is made up of three different textures. I have the rock, the grass, and this brownish dirt. So by combining all three using a, a node-based system, I'm able to control different aspects of the land. For example, I can First of all, I can I can come here and of course I can paint the land high right wall. So I can sort of just go here and paint in the rocks, or I can um, sort of paint in the dirt. So sort of come here and go like. Um, so there's that. Um, apart from painting onto the image directly I can also shift because the um, influence of the different textures you know um, is, is controlled by a texture here this grayscale texture I can control the sort of distribution of the different land class so here I can sort of shift the grass growth by just sort of moving it so you can see there's now more grass um, I can also move it back and have less grass and more rocks. Um, so you know, all of that is um, user. It's 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 customizable. Um, I can use even flip it so that the grass grows where originally the rocks are. So, so we're just playing with it. Mm, can have more dirt. Um, additionally, we can also not only shift the distribution, but because we are coloring the textures um, in our shader, if you look at our textures, all the textures for grass, rock, and sand are all grayscale. And this is because so we can um, fit all three into a single texture to save space. So because we're coloring it in our shader here, um, we can change the color of basically anything. So we can come here and change the color of the grass from green to yellow. Um, you know, so again, it quickly changes the sort of look for the model. Um, we can also come here and basically get rid of all the colors, um, and that should create a very sort of dead look you know if that's what you're going after so you know you can quickly change the look the looks of the um of of the of the of the textures without going back into photoshop or the gimp and you know painting everything manually so you have a lot of control over 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 this um over this shader and the nice thing is because it's done with just nodes it works in the game engine it works in Psychos. It pretty much works for every um, available rendering option that you have here. So um, thanks for watching. Um, you can find more information about this on my blog at blog.mikepan.com. Thank you.